do the works of Jesus. God wants you to know that. We've been training and talking about being equipped for healing. This is the hour that God has called the church, which is you and I, to go about doing signs and wonders and fulfilling the Great Commission and being prepared for the things that we're going to encounter in the days ahead. And we want to be prepared. We want to be uh, ready and uh, be strong in faith and not move out of uh, fear or looking at the circumstances around us. And the Lord just wants you to understand his favor and his grace has already been given to us. It's not anything that we need to qualify for. We are qualified for his greater work. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me. I hunger and thirst, I hunger and thirst. After, righteousness. after righteousness. I desire, I desire. Spiritual, things. spiritual things. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. who is my teacher, is my teacher. Reveals, to reveals to me all that I need to know concerning my Father's will for my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for revelation knowledge. Revealed knowledge and for the truth that makes me free. Thank you for increase in my life and in my church and for your grace upon my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go back to Mark 11 chapter, read from the 22nd verse. This is where I left off in the last session, but we're going to continue along that vein and along that line. I uh, just want to cover something real briefly before I move on. The 22nd verse says, So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. Or I like the translation that says, Have the God kind yes. okay. of faith. What does that mean? Does it mean that God needed faith? No, God was faith. So have God's faith. That's what it's talking about. Have what well, God had faith in Christ, in the work that he was going to do, Jesus is the first begotten of the of the dead. So if there's a first, it's got to be a second, third, and so on. And that's where we come in. We're the second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. God had faith in what he did. He was going to bring forth fruit. Amen. Praise God. We are the fruit. Are Hallelujah. The fruit. And so he says, Whoever shall say unto this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, it does not doubt. In his heart, but believes, so he believes, believes. So that those things which he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Amen. So it's important to believe. Amen. And a lot of people believe what they say at times, and then they don't believe what they say. And it's sad uh, because most people, are, what they're saying doesn't line up in the word, but they believe it. Mm -hmm. So they have what they say because they believe it. It says, whosoever shall say to this mountain. What is the mountain that we face? Is it a mountain of financial debt? Is it a mountain of poverty? Is it a mountain of illnesses and sicknesses? If it's a mountain of lack in some area of our life, that's a mountain. Amen. Whatever the circumstance is that's before us, it's a mountain. He says, whoever shall say to this mountain, be removed, be thou cast into the sea, and doesn't doubt. That what he says will come to pass. He will have whatever he says. Why? Because we have God's faith. Yes. Yeah. We're the God kind of faith. We're made just like God. We're made in his image. And so we walk in that place of, of knowledge and knowing that God is in us, the hope of glory. We're made in his likeness. He told us to mimic and imitate him, to take dominion and charge. There is no doubt that when I speak to that mountain, I believe it has to bow its knee and obey and be removed. Amen. 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 In Hebrews, he tells us to hold fast to the confession of our faith. The 14th verse. It says, seeing that we have a great high priest who is passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. Let's hold fast to our confession. And the word confession, the Greek word is homogolia which means saying the same thing God says. So it's not just a confession that you're saying. 
It's the same, the same thing God says about your situation. So that's our proclamation. That's our declaration. That's our confession. What, Jesus, what God said about our situation and what we have in him through Christ. So we're holding fast to that proclamation, that confession, that, that declaration of what God said about us that belongs to us. Hallelujah. He says, hold fast to that without wavering. You know why? Because we have an apostle, Christ Jesus, the sent one, that provided everything for us. And so what we have to do is protect our spirit man from unbelief. Yes. 